What's up guys? Today we're here at the Texas May Walden Academy and we got some visitors all the way from West Texas. Hello guys, this is Luis Hernandez. I'm over welder from West Texas out of El Paso. You know, the oil feels down right now. So I had to come over here to Houston, Texas to stay busy. Uh, Pepe gave me a chance to come and show you guys how I do a 12 inch bell hole. And I'm gonna do a blowing law with my friend. How y'all doing guys? My name is Thomas Vasquez. We'll, we will be showing y'all how to run a, a bead with 610. Hot pass with hot pass building cap with the uh, 8010. Hope, Hope you guys, guys like, like it. it. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. test this is what you guys have you know your mud board your jack stands just a wire wheel and a branding disc you know you don't got a tiger disc you don't got you know gotta do all that all i do is you know wire wheel it put a 16 inch landing and tack it in place Hey guys, I'm gonna be tacking this this pipe with a 332 gap. I'm gonna be running a, a, three, a classic 300 MP. I'm gonna be running about third gear, 35. After we tack it in place, we're going to grind the start. We're gonna leave the keyhole alone and uh, make sure we have even gaps. That way uh, our blowing lot doesn't have a, a hard time, you know, running a tighter, tighter side, wider side. Uh, after we put the tacks, we're gonna start running the beat. Um, I have my Miller Pipe Pro. It's, I'm gonna put like a 45 on the remote. I have it for 200 amps on the, on the machine for the remote and um, we're gonna take it from there.
So I, as I'm coming down, you know, my, my gap is coming a little bit tighter. You know, as, as long as you put five, you know, seven ounce more, it'll be good. the root pass we're about to grind the root um to grind it clean you know not too not too clean you don't want to have it too too thin uh leave some meat in there as long as you run 10 15 amps more than what you did you root pass you'll be good just make sure you know you spread when you're doing uh your hot pass make sure you know to spread out your puddle that way you don't get no no undercutting you trap some slag there One thing I want to add is that when you're grinding your root pass, you want to make sure that you kind of go sideways with your with your with your grinder. That way you can open up your bevels. You know you don't want to have a really narrow um, bevel. It's gonna be uh, really beneficial for your hot pass. One thing I want to add is that when you're grinding your root pass, you want to make sure that you kind of go sideways with your with your with your grinder. That way you can open up your bevels. You know you don't want to have a really narrow um bevel is gonna be uh really beneficial for your hot pass make sure you just you know a couple passes widen it a little bit you'll be good Actually, uh, on, on my Pipe Pro, it's a little bit different than the Lincoln. I'm, uh, you know, I was running like around 45 for the root pass. You know, I'm gonna pick it up a couple amps. That should be good. Go ahead, bro.
We always uh, grind uh, the our starts, you know, just to make sure that there's no um, no trash in there, and also most likely the place where we could trap some slag. So just make sure you know you grind your starts. Yeah, this is our failed and flush cap. We're gonna flush this out already. Um, I'm gonna have my remote around 65. You know, I'm running kind of cold, but because I wanna I wanna make sure it's nice and flush. I don't want to run too hot, it's going to be really concave. 5.0, 8010 pipe liner. We're about to get started with the, with the fuel pass. We're running 5.0. We're running about, I got about third gear, about 90.
about to cap this. You know, um, we're just gonna slick one on there and go home already. You know, it's a Saturday. Me and Thomas tomorrow are gonna start a, a one week turnaround. So, you know, we gotta get ready. Let's do it, buddy. <laughs> Hey guys, there you go. Uh, there you have it. We, we did a, uh, well I didn't do it. This guy's did. Uh, badass welders. Um, they did a, a 12 inch of bell hole. Just the way we use, the, the way we do it whenever you go test for a pipeline uh, job. Uh, anything you guys want to add or anything? No, I just want to state that by no means we're the best welders, you know. We're trying to, we're trying to be there, but there's always going to be uh, someone better than us. So, you know, we keep trying, you know, to, to to better our skills, you know, we're just showing what we know and 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 what we do. That's good, man. That's good. Always yes, stay sir. humble, like like he's saying. You know, there's there's always gonna be somebody out there better than you, better than me, and there's always gonna be somebody better than that guy. So always stay humble and, and you know just 
Keep burning them rods, man. Anything you want to add? How my buddy was saying, keep burning them rods. And, uh, you know, we, we don't know everything. We, we, we're learning every single day. And I wanted to thank Pepe for bringing us into over here. Thank to you guys Texas for now. Thank you guys for coming, coming all the way from West Texas. Oh, here. <laughs> uh, I do want to add something, man. Thank you for uh, thank you for uh, uh, Texas uh, Mate Walden Academy for le letting us be here on Saturday. Uh, they opened it up for us, just for us. And thank you so much, Lino. Uh, make sure to check them out. They have uh, the be for, to be honest, they have the best prices in town. And just tell them that we sent you. And he might give you a discount. Yeah, I think he might give you even a hood Whoa, from <laughs> Outlaw Leather. I don't know. I heard. I don't know. Don't don't get me wrong. Just ask him. You might get it. I don't know. Um, yeah, thank you so much for letting us uh, be here and for letting us use the shop to do our, our welding videos. Um, I hope you guys like it. Stay tuned and I mean, shout out to everybody from West Texas and Paso. You yes, from Paso, right? Yes, sir. Paso, Texas. Yeah, Odessa, Texas. Shout out to everybody and stay tuned for the next video, guys. Peace out.